whenever I would go on my adventure trips, uh, my highlight would always see the beautiful creation of God, like mountains and lakes and also um, sunrises. I, I remember uh, seeing a sunrise there in um, uh, Gaspe Peninsula. I was like recording it like 20 minutes, hoping that, you know, I, I, would, I would be able to record the beauty of it and be able to go back and look back at it again and again and again. In our first reading today, he created this and he saw that it was good. If it is good for God, of course, it will be good for us too. But the crown of God's creation are human beings. And he can't help but gaze at us. He fixed our gaze on us and he gazed at us with awe with admiration. Despite our brokenness, despite our imperfection, the Lord gazes at with so much admiration and so much awe. Because we are, it says here, we are created in His image and in His likeness. Uh, for us human beings, we can't, we can't just take our, our lives by ourselves. In Canada, we have this made. What's, what's made? For those who are watching online, um, and who are from another country, made is medical assistance in dying. It's being offered by the government since March 17, 2021. And, and by March 17, 2024, it's gonna be open, it's gonna be offered to those who have mental illness, to those who are depressed. I suffered from depression back in 2018. If that, if made was available during that time, it was so tempting for me to avail that, just to, just to end all, all the suffering that I was like experiencing. And if I avail of that, I want to be here serving you. And we have a lot of people in our, in our, in our lives, our family, our friends, who are struggling with depression. And the government is offering a permanent solution to a temporary problem. God can heal depression. God healed me of depression. I have no depression right now. It was just a temporary problem for me. But I was like really tempted to take my life. And it's a permanent solution. Right? And it's not a good solution really, right? because it's going to hurt a lot of people. Whenever we see depressed people in our lives, we must have great compassion because they are really carrying a big cross, a big, big cross. But the solution that we need to offer to them is God Himself. As they experience more the love of God, it will really help their depression. And usually, depression has to do with addiction. So if people are being set free from addiction, they will be set free from depression. A lot of people are suffering from depression because of the woundedness that they experience from their family or in their past. And if we offer them inner healing so that they won't, they won't uh, continue to believe in the lies that they've been believing when they were growing up, by that they would be set free from depression. And I'm not you know, discounting the help of counseling. Con counseling helps, really. I went through uh, counseling for several years. I also took medication. I'm, I'm glad I'm right now I've, I'm off medication. But imagine by March 17, 2024, how many people would avail of MAID because they're depressed? We would see people, a lot of people, gonna avail of this. That's why we need to pray. That's why we need to proclaim the good news to them. God is the solution, not made. Nothing is impossible with God. God created us in His image and likeness. Therefore, He, he, he is the one who gave us this life, and He alone also has the right to take it.